The internet. It's an amazing place. Wondrous. Fantastical. But not without its negatives. I speak, of course, about the hater. The troll. Well, let's be honest, the losers online. We all wonder what drives them, what is it that makes them. Well, thanks to the latest cutting edge technology, I'm actually speaking to you from inside the mind of a hater. You start to get an idea of what drives them when you see how dead their brain actually is. It's barren, lifeless, it's rotting away, it's full of holes and decay. Nothing of any value can exist here. It's a horrid, desolate wasteland of nothing. No positive thought can ever engage. Look over here. The best they can hope for is some parasitic growths, usually conspiracy theories and bigotry that just leeches into the gaps in their brain and starts to eat away deeper and deeper. Now, of course, the tragedy of the internet hater is the great waste. There is so much around them, and yet they remain locked in their desolate, decaying, dead little world. And really, if they just opened their eyes and broadened a little bit, absolute wonders would open up around them. So we ask ourselves the big question. Haters are their own worst enemy, obviously. They're cutting themselves off from everything good in the world. So should we reach out to them? Is it our duty to enlighten these awful, hateful, spiteful creatures? Fuck no, they're scum. Let them rot. We'll enjoy the world. Fuck the lot of them.